Hello friends, welcome to my workbench. I am Jyotirvid Pavan Kumar. Today through this video, we will learn how to use an operational amplifier IC and an LDR, light dependent resistor. I will make this circuit on a breadboard, which I described in my previous video. I have made this breadboard. Uh, this jig using a breadboard. This white portion is a breadboard you can purchase from electronic component shops or online also. This is very cheap and I have fitted this on top of a plastic box and uh, there is a on off switch and I am using a mobile charger which gives me 5 volt DC output when I connect it to 240 volt AC mains. So that supply I am giving onto this breadboard. So I conduct all my experiments using this 5 volt DC supply. But if you like to construct this project after following uh, my this video, you can construct this project on a general purpose PCB and then you can also use 6 volt DC supply. So let us see if I am getting plus 5 volt. <coughs> you can look at the screen of the multimeter, it is showing 5.15 volt DC. Okay. Now I am using this operational amplifier IC which is in a 8 pin package and the number of the operational amplifier is LM358. This is a low power dual operational amplifier. By dual uh, means that in this package, 8 pin package, there are two independent operational amplifiers. But for this project, which I am going to describe now, we will be using just one operational amplifier. Now before we start constructing, I will <coughs> give you some important information about the IC. This op amp is in a 8 pin package. It has 4 pins on each side and there is a spot along one side which indicates pin number 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And inside this is LM358. Inside there are two independent operational amplifiers and this is a symbol for operational amplifier and there are two of these. Operational amplifier has two inputs. One is marked with a minus sign and it is called inverting input and the other one is marked with a plus sign which means non-inverting input. Uh, <coughs> for this LM3588 pin package, the pin numbers are um, pin number 2, 3 and pin number 1 is the output. And for the second, 6 is inverting, 5 is non-inverting input and 7 is the output. Supply is common for both the operational amplifiers. Pin number 8 is plus supply positive and pin number 4 is ground or 0 volt. If you are using a single supply. For single supply, for this LM358, the supply can be from 3 volts to 32 volts, anywhere in this range. I am using 5 volt, you can use 6 volt, 9 volt as you like. So this is a low power dual 
open. <coughs> now let us see the circuit diagram which I am going to use. <coughs> so we will be using one operational amplifier. pin number 2, pin number 3 and pin number 1 is the output 8 is the plus supply and uh, 4 is ground or 0 volt output will be an LED through a resistor, series resistor R this is for controlling current which will pass through the LED. <coughs> At the inverting input, I am going to put a potentiometer or variable resistor. I show you this. This is very tiny potentiometer. It has got three leads, three legs. These two legs are the opposite ends of this and the, this single leg on the other side is the variable point and you can vary using a screwdriver. I am using this potentiometer <coughs> VR of 10 kilo ohm value and the variable point goes to pin number 2. This is another resistor. This is, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. This is LDR. LDR is light dependent resistor. When this LDR, I'll show you this LDR. This is a very tiny one which I am using. They come in different sizes. So when light falls on it, the resistance, internal resistance goes down. But in darkness, the resistance is more, is higher. For this one, which I am using, in darkness, the resistance is greater than 2 mega ohm. And when there is sufficient light falling on it, then the resistance goes down even below 400 K. So considering this internal resistance, which is uh, greater than 2 mega ohm, when the LDR is in dark, so I am using this resistor value 2.2 mega ohm. This is the resistance, and the color code is red, red, green. So it is 2.2 mega ohm. Now, this common point of LDR and resistor, I am going to connect it to the non inverting input pin number 3. Now this operational amplifier is being used here as a voltage comparator. Voltage comparator. The V out voltage here, if this is um, <coughs> V1 and this is V2, and voltage out is VO, then VO, the output voltage is equal to open loop gain of the operational amplifier, which is quite high, multiplied by V2 minus V1. So this is the voltage difference between these two points. So the output will be when V2 is greater than the voltage set at point at pin number 2, then the output goes high and the LED will light. So you can set this variable resistance at a point so that as the LDR uh, is in darkness then the voltage here is its uh, internal resistance will uh, rise and the voltage at this point will also rise. So the voltage at pin number 3 will be greater than pin at uh, uh, the voltage which we have set at pin number 2. So at that point, the output will go high and LED will light up. So this will be a dark 
activated LED light, which you can use a, as a night lamp. So this is the circuit diagram. So let us now connect the components. This is the IC. I'm going to insert somewhere here on the breadboard. And uh, this is the LED. I'll be connecting anode through a resistance at pin number 1 to a resistance I am using 1 kilo. This uh, resistor R is 1K. So from pin number 1 I am connecting this resistor at the anode of the LED and the cathode of the LED goes to ground. Now this potentiometer I am going to place it here somewhere. So one end of potentiometer, you can just look at the circuit diagram on the paper. One end will go to positive supply. So I'll connect it to the positive supply, which is the upper line. And the other end here, this will go to ground, which is that lower line supply line. And the variable point of potentiometer which will go to pin number 2. This LDR is connected here and one end of LDR goes to 2M2 resistor and the other end of resistor will go to positive supply plus 5 volt. Okay, And uh, the other end of LDR will go to ground. Clear. So using a jumper, another jumper, I will connect this uh, common point of LDR and R2 and 2R to pin number 3 of operation amplifier. This is a bit short, so I will use two jumpers. You can have a longer wire and connect it to the common point of LDR and resistor. Now we will connect pin number 8 of IC to plus 5 volt. and pin number 4 to ground. So the circuit is uh, wired up and uh, you can set the this uh, potentiometer using a 
fine screwdriver there is a slot on the potentiometer so while the LDR is in light you can rotate the potentiometer and just uh, find out the point where the where the LED goes off so just leave it there so when you place your hand above the LDR so that there is no light falling on the LDR the LED will light so it is a dark operated LED light and you can adjust the sensitivity of the LDR with this potentiometer you can set it so this can be very interesting and useful project you can build on a general purpose PCB and uh, you can use it anywhere I hope you understand you follow this simple experiment and uh, if there are any questions uh, regarding this project this uh, video you can just uh, send your feedback to me you can ask questions and I will try to answer thank you for watching